Hi kindergarten. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about plant parts. So we have very important vocabulary today. We're going to start with leaves. Leaves are the part of the plant that makes food for the plant. So leaves actually make food for the plant. Isn't that cool? They look like this. Roots are the parts of the plant that keep it in the ground and take up food and water. So if you see this tree right here, these things sticking out into the ground are the roots. And that's what helps the tree get water and get nutrients. Then we have seeds. Seeds are the small protected parts of a plant that are able to grow into a new plant. So these are sunflower seeds. A sunflower makes these little seeds and if you plant it in the dirt, you could grow a sunflower yourself. Then we have stems. Stems are the parts of the plant that support the plant and carry water and nutrients to the rest of the plant. So this right here is the stem. See how it's holding up the flower and then the food and the water go up the stem to get to the flower. And our last word is survival. It's just the act of staying alive. So when you're drinking water and eating food, you're surviving. And for plants, it's the exact same way. It is pretty cool to think about. Remember, in our last lesson, we learned that plants are living things. Do you remember what plants and all other living things need? What do they need? Mm -hmm. They need food, water, air, and light, exactly. Now, remember, living things can also reproduce, and that means make more of themselves. Now, remember last time when I had you all on Seesaw write down or say out loud different things that are living and non-living? Let's do a couple more. Is a desk living or non-living? Non-living. Is a tree living or non-living? It's living. What about a pencil? Non-living. Now, there are so many different living and non-living things, but there are also just so many different types of plants, right? So just like people, plants come in all different shapes and sizes. They have different names, and they live and grow in different places. So in the same way that people all have similar features, like everyone has fingers and a nose and eyes, Plants actually have similar parts too, okay? So there are many different plants, but they have similar parts, just like people. Okay, now, I want you to think about the main idea of this story as I read it to you, okay? The main topic or main idea in this lesson is plant parts. So I want you to be thinking about plant parts as you listen. You're going to learn about the different parts of plants and how these different parts use nutrients or food, water, air, and light. So let's get reading. What do you see in this picture? Even though there are many, many different kinds of plants living in our world, all plants need nutrients or food, water, air, and light. And most plants have similar basic parts. The roots, the stem, the leaves, the flowers, and seeds. Okay, now let's take a look at this sunflower. The parts of the plant you see down here at the bottom are the roots. The roots of the plant are covered with soil. So when we see plants growing in nature, we usually can't actually see the roots unless we take the plant out of the ground because this will be covered up by dirt. The plant's roots reach down into the soil and grow underground. They help to hold the plant in place in the soil. But most importantly, the roots take up water and nutrients that are in the soil. So nutrients help the plant grow and stay healthy, just like vitamins help you grow and stay healthy. The water and nutrients move through the roots. So it goes in here. And then it goes up into the stem of the plant, which holds the plant up tall toward the light. 
As the water and nutrients travel up the stem, they're able to reach other parts of the plant, like the leaves, okay? The leaves are the part of the plant that's attached to and grow out from the stem, usually. The leaves are usually green, but they can be other colors as well. Many plants have flowers, which are called blossoms. Look at the blossoms on this sunflower plant. Around the outside, it has many bright yellow petals. The flower petals of different plants come in every color you can imagine. Mm. Now look at the center of this part of the sunflower. That part has many, many, many petals around it. This part of the plant is made up of many small seeds. Mm -hmm. So one sunflower seed is only about the size of one of your fingernails. If the seeds of the sunflower plant are put in the soil, they will make a new sunflower plant. Sometimes people eat the seeds from the plants. You may have even tasted a sunflower seed yourself. Remember, they look like this. Even though most parts, or even though most plants have the same basic parts, roots, stem, leaves, flowers, and seeds, these parts may look different on different kinds of plants. These beautiful flowers are for many different kinds of plants. Did you notice that not only are the colors of the flowers different, but the flower petals from different plants have different shapes too? Mm, which ones do you like? Now, what do you see in this picture? This apple tree has the same parts as the other plants we've seen. We can't see any apples because this picture was taken in the spring when the blossoms or the flowers comes out. The apples will start growing in the summer and will be ready for picking in the fall. We can't see the roots of the apple tree because remember, they're growing underground. But we can see several other parts. We can see many stems on the tree. The smaller stems are called branches. Do you see the apple blossoms and leaves? There are many, many leaves attached to the branches on this apple tree. The largest part of the tree is called the trunk. The outside of the trunk is covered in bark. Bark is kind of like clothing for trees. It protects the inside of the tree. Mm, what do you think this bark feels like? Here are some leaves from different kinds of trees. Take a close look and you'll notice that the leaves have different shapes. In fact, one way to tell what kind of tree you're looking at is to look closely at its leaves. Hmm. The leaf on the top left is from a sugar maple tree. The leaf below that is from a white oak tree. The leaf on the top right is from a witch hazel tree. And the leaf below that one is from a black oak tree. Remember, many plants, not just trees, have leaves. In fact, leaves are especially important to the survival of plants. So that means leaves are especially important in making sure that the plant stays alive. When light shines on the tree leaves or on any leaves of the plant, the leaves absorb or soak up energy from the light. Though, through an amazing process called photosynthesis. Can you say that? Photosynthesis. The leaf uses the light to turn the water and air already in the plant into food for the rest of the plant. Wow. Do you remember earlier when we said that the roots and the stem of a plant move water and nutrients from the soil to the other parts of the plant, such as the leaves? Well, during photosynthesis, Water, nutrients, air, and light come together in the plant's leaves. This is how plants make food for themselves. It's a good thing, too, because plants can't move like animals or people, so they aren't able to go find food somewhere else. Plants have to make food for themselves. Once the water and nutrients are made into food through photosynthesis, parts of the leaves, called the veins, carry the food back to the stem. These are the different veins. From there, food is taken to the rest of the plant where it is needed. Now that you've learned about most of the basic parts of many plants, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Maybe you could grow one yourself. Plants begin as seeds, which sprout and grow roots, stems, leaves, and then flowers. 
The roots, stem, and leaves work together with water, nutrients, air, and light to make food for the plant through photosynthesis. Say that word three times to help you remember it. Photosynthesis, photosynthesis, photosynthesis. <laughs> Hard to say. I hope you liked learning about plants. Remember to click on the exit ticket below. See you later, kindergarten.